The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this session of your online learning program. I am Lane B. Regina, your history teacher from four. Before we separated from our last lesson, you had an assignment to do. You were asked to state some political reforms that were recommended to African territories at the Brazzaville Conference of 1944. This is the answer I have. You compare with what you have. One of them was the creation of representative assemblies, the formation of trade unions, and the formation of political parties. And we realized that at the Brazzaville Conference, Africans were given the right to form political parties which were going to put forward their ideologies and lead them towards self-determination. <laughs> And then this is now bringing us to our next lesson, which is the rise of pressure groups and political parties in British stroke French Cameroon. The rise of pressure groups and political parties in British and French Cameroon. To go about this lesson, we are going to follow the plan you have. This plan will look at the objectives the previous knowledge, the situation in real life, lesson activities, summary, we we'll look at application exercises, and of course, we'll end with assignments as usual. For the objective of this lesson, it is expected that by the end of this lesson, you, the learners, should, be, should identify some political parties and their founders explain the objectives of some political parties, list the contributions of political parties towards the independence of Cameroon. Previous knowledge, we know you already have knowledge about the terms of the trusteeship agreement. When we're looking at the trusteeship agreement, we realize that one of the terms of the agreement was that the administering authorities, they were to promote Africans politically, give them the opportunity to form political parties through which they will, lead, they will, they will be led towards independence and self-determination in the future. Situation in real life. See, in your community, there is a family whose members are never given the opportunity to express themselves because they are considered to be from a peasant background. What advice will you give to people of your community in a situation like this? To go through this lesson, we are going to follow this plan, the plan you have. We we'll look at the pressure groups in British Cameroon, the political parties in British Cameroon, the pressure groups in French Cameroon, and they will end with the political parties in, in French Cameroon. You have a document in front of you 
observe the document and answer the questions that we follow. The document has two personalities on it. We have personality A, we have personality B. Let's look at the questions that you have to answer. What is the nature of the document? Identify and name the personalities labeled A and B. Who were they in Cameroon? What is the nature of the document? Identify and name the personalities labeled A and B. Who were they in Cameroon? Look at the answers I have and compare with what you have. The document is a photograph, of course. Personality A is EML in delay and personality B is JN Foncha. Personality A is Emmanuel Mbela Nifafa in delay and personality B is John Gu Foncha. They were British Cameroon politicians. I will look, move to the pressure groups in French Cameroon. We we'll realize that political activities in British Cameroon, excuse me, we are looking at pressure groups in British Cameroon. We we'll come to realize that political activities in British Cameroon started with the creation of pressure groups because real political parties had not existed for some time until there was a particular time when the opportunity was given to British Cameroonians to form political parties. So they formed, they started putting forward their political ideas or their aspirations through pressure group. And the first of this pressure group was the Cameroon Welfare Union. This pressure group was formed by Cameroonians that were, it was formed by PM Kaye in, he was in, in Nigeria. Then he formed this Cameroon Welfare Union. And then the idea he had behind his head to form this pressure group was because he wanted British Cameroon to be represented in the Nigerian legislature in, in Lagos, in the Nigerian Legislative Assembly in, in Lagos. So he formed this pressure group in 19, 39. And in 1944, the, in 1942, excuse me, the, the, his demand was responded to. He was putting pressure on the British because, you know, at that time, Nigeria was ruled by both Britain and, and Nigerians. And so he was putting pressure on the British government and the Nigerian government or the Nigerian authorities and the British authorities that British Cameroon, which was a minority in that area, should be represented in the Nigerian Legislative Assembly in, in Lagos. Now, his demands were given a chance. And then in 1942, one seat was given to, to Cameroon in the Legislative Assembly. And this seat was occupied by uh, uh, Manga William, by Chief Manga William, which was not, of course, the choice of the founder of this pressure group. And so they decided to form another pressure group that was known as the CYO, the Cameroon Youth League. This other pressure group was formed by Cameroonian students that were in Nigeria. There was EML Indeli, there was John Fonta. They formed this pressure group and the idea they had in their head was to impose the assertion of the Cameroonian identity in, in Nigeria. It is like they realized that Cameroonians were not given a place of their own, and so they were forming this CY or the Cameroon Youth League to assert the Cameroonian identity in, in Nigeria. This pressure group moved on until 1947, when the Cameroon Federal Union was formed. This one, the Cameroon Federal Union was formed by EML Ndele. And the, the objective that he had about this pressure group, he wanted the, he was already promoting the unification of 
British and French Cameroon. Because when he formed this pressure group, what he had in mind was that French and English should be taught in the British territory, in the British Cameroon territory, and in the French Cameroon territory. And equally, he wanted that there should be free trade established between British and, and French Cameroon. In 1949, still he still formed the Cameroon National, the Cameroon National Federation was formed. This Cameroon National Federation is still had the ideology of the unification of British and French Cameroon because they wanted to promote the unity between British and, and French Cameroon. Then, in 1951, there was this Cameroon United National Congress that was formed. This other party, or this other pressure group, was formed to, to, there was already the idea of one Cameroon, and then they had the nostalgia of German Cameroon. That is why the other, the other pressure groups, they were talking of C, which is Cameroon as pronounced in English, but this other one, they call it Cameroon United Congress. They wanted to, the objective was to unite the British and French Cameroon, and equally to promote the teaching of French and English in British and, and French Cameroon. Those were the pressure groups that were formed up to 1951. Then, from those pressure groups, we moved to political parties that were formed in British Cameroon. The first one that we have, the National Council for Nigeria and Cameroon. This one was not formed on the Cameroon soil, but it had Cameroonian politicians implicated in it. This is a party that was formed in the, you know, we, we, when, when we're talking about the terms of the trusteeship agreement, we said concerning the administrative agreement, the administrative arrangements, Brit Britain was given the rights or they were given the authority that they could administer their own part of Cameroon, which is British Cameroon, as an integral part of Nigeria. And so British Cameroon was attached to the eastern region of Nigeria. That is why you see we are talking of Nigeria, uh, talking Cameroon and putting Nigeria. By that time, Cameroon or British Cameroon was under Nigeria. So this party, the National Congress, the National Council for Nigeria and Cameroon, was formed by Namdi Azikewe. When he formed the party, Cameroonian politicians decided to join because his aim or the objective of his party was to struggle for the independence of Nigeria and Cameroon from Britain. So they joined in this, in this party. After some time, the, there was this Cameroon National Congress that was a union between the Cameroon National Federation and the Cameroon United National Party. They came, decided, people, the, the, the leaders decided to come together to form a real politi political party, which was the Cameroon, Cameroon National Congress. And the leader of this party was Emmanuel when this party was formed, he was he decided that he was in the party, it was to promote the unification of British Cameroon and unification of French Cameroon. Now there were some people like NNBN who were not for were not for the unification of British Cameroon and French Cameroon. So decided to come up with the KPP, which is the Cameroon People's Party. And this party was of the idea that the Cameroonians in Nigeria, the Cameroon should evolve within Nigeria towards their independence, that they should continue associating with the NCNC and the Eastern Regional House of Assembly. 
So those were now the two the division that existed between Cameroonians. Those who wanted some, those who wanted that Cameroon should be brought back and be united with French Cameroon. And those who wanted Cameroon should stay and evolve within Nigeria. Then the next political party that came up, this other political party, the Cameroon National Democratic, Democratic Party, was formed by people that came out from the Cameroon National Congress. You know, when Cameroon National Congress was formed, there was these prominent leaders, E.M.L. Indeli and John Gufoncha. They were for the unification of British Cameroon and French Cameroon. Now, after some time, Indeli became attached with the Action Group of Nigeria he, 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 he was like, he was not known for the reunification of British Cameroon and French Cameroon. So an agreement, a disagreement broke out between them, between him and John Gufoncha. So John Gufoncha with other politicians came out of the KNC, the Cameroon National Congress, and formed the Cameroon National Democratic Party, which was out to promote the disintegration of British Cameroon from Nigeria and its consequent reunification with, with French Cameroon. And then, that was the, the party that uh, Foncha formed, and it was formed in 1955. Still in 1955, there was this other party, even though in French, but it was in British Cameroon, the Union de Population Camerounaise. What happened? You know, when we were talking of uh, French Cameroon, when we were talking of administrative changes in French Cameroon, we said there was one French governor or French high commissioner who banned the UPC political party in French Cameroon. So UPC was banned in French Cameroon in 1955. So they moved to British Cameroon and settled in Kumba. They had a base in Kumba. So when they came to British Cameroon, they started promoting their ideology, which was the immediate independence of Cameroon and its immediate reunification with French Cameroon, the immediate independence of British Cameroon and its immediate reunification with French Cameroon. When that ideology came up, the party was immediately banned. When the party was banned, this other politician who was a member of the UPC party in the Tumaza came up and formed the One Cameroon, still with the same, continuing with the same ideology of, of the UPC. He was equally trying to promote the idea of the reunification of British and French Cameroon. And uh, this party was formed in 1957. Then in 1951, there was this Cameroon United Party, which was a party that was formed when the plebiscite was organized in February 1961 to, to the lobby for the independence of British Cameroon. Now, he came up with this Cameroon United Party to put forth the third option, which was the independence of British Cameroon. Since the other options were like, either you join, either, either you gain independence by reuniting with French Cameroon, or you gain independence by reuniting with, or by joining Nigeria. He decided that there should, there should be a third option, which was the independence, just complete independence of British Cameroon. His idea or his own idea was not, however, taken into consideration by the UN during the plebiscite. And so his party ended without, without putting forth any reform. So those were the political parties that existed in British Cameroon. Now we have our next document on the board that you are expected to observe and equally answer questions that will follow. The document has three personalities, personality A, personality B, no personality C, personality D, and personality E. 
Now, questions you have to answer. What is the nature of the document? Identify and name the personalities in the document. Who were they in Cameroon? For the nature of the document, of course, it is a photograph. Personality C is Louis Paul Ojola. Personality D is Umyobe. And personality E is Alexandra Douala Mangabel. They were French Cameroon politicians. Look at pressure groups in French Cameroon. The pressure group, the first pressure group that was formed in French Cameroon was Jeunesse Camerounaise Francaise. This Jeunesse Camerounaise Francaise was formed by Louis Paul Ojula. And then the idea he had behind his head was to free Cameroon from the Germans and uh, equally to consolidate the whole of France on, on Cameroon. And then we have Unicafra, which is Union Cameroonaise Francaise. This other pressure group was equally formed to see the union, to, 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 be, to, to, to be sure that Cameroon is maintained under France, that Cameroon will evolve under France, and to show the loyalty of Cameroons of Cameroon to France. And then there was this uh, other pressure group, the Rassemblement Camerounais. This one was formed by Robert Oumoube, and the idea that was behind it, his head was to disintegrate Cameroon from France and to work towards the independence of, of Cameroon. Now we look at the political parties. The first of the political parties in French Cameroon was the Réunion des Populations Camerounais. And this party was formed by Robert Oumoube with the idea to <coughs> struggle for the reunification of British and French Cameroon and the, 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 the immediate independence of French Cameroon. When he formed that party, a group of Basa people decided to form the Evolution Social Camerounais to counteract his idea of reunification. To, because they were not, it's not everybody that was in the support of reunification of British and, and France Cameroon, of, of British and French Cameroon. And then we equally have the Bloc Democratic Camerounais. This one was formed in 1941, 1951, excuse me, by Louis Paul Ojula. <clears throat> the idea he had behind his head was he saw how Umyobe was coming up very powerfully. And so he wanted to counteract the influence of Umyobe in French Cameroon. <clears throat> there was this Union Social Camerounais that was formed to the, 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 the aim of this other political party was to unite Cameroonians and see that they move towards their independence. And then the next political party, we have Mouvement Junior Cameroonais that was formed in 1956, still with the idea of unifying Cameroonians putting Cameroonians together so that they can move towards their independence. And then in 1957, there was this Democrat Cameroonese that was formed by Andre Marie Bida. He was in the same line with the ideology of Bloc Democratic Cameroonese that was formed by Louis Paul Ojula. Then, in, still in 1957, Ahmad Waiju, still another French Cameroon politician, formed the Union Camerounaise. He, he was the one through his party. It is the party that became the ruling party of Cameroon right up to, to independence. For the summary, we'll see that the trusteeship period witnessed great political activities in British and French Cameroon. The political activities began with the formation of pressure groups with inspired Cameroonians, which inspired Cameroonians to form and run political parties. Through the political parties, some of which were short-lived, Cameroonians were able to make their voices heard. 
This led to the independence of French Cameroon in January 1960 and that of British Cameroon in February 1961. We'll go to the application questions. One, identify the following personalities and indicate the political parties that they founded in French Cameroon. We have four personalities there. We have personality A, personality B, personality C, and personality D. We should identify them and indicate the political parties that they founded in French Cameroon. That's question one. Question two. Mark an X on the letter of the correct answer. The main objective of the CY on the Cameroon Youth League was to A. Ensure the independence of British Cameroon. B. Assert the identity of British Cameroonians. C. Ensure the reunification of British and French Cameroon. D. None of the above. Essay type question. Examine the role played by political parties towards the attainment of independence in Cameroon. What role was played by political parties towards the attainment of independence in Cameroon? I'll go to our answer. The question number one, you were asked to identify the identify certain personalities. You will look at the picture again, the photograph again. You were asked to identify these personalities and the parties that they, they founded. You will look at picture A, your personality A. This is Ruben Umyobe, and the party he founded was a UPC. Let us go to our answers. The, first, the personality A is Robert Umyobe, and then the party he founded was the UPC. Personality B is Louis Paul Ojola. If we can remind ourselves of his face, this is personality B, who is Louis Paul Ojola. And the party he founded, he founded was the Bloc Democratique Camerounais. Personality C is André Marimbida. Let us go to his picture once more. This is André Marimbida. And the party he founded was the Democrat Camerounais. And the last personality that we had there is Amadou Aijo. Of course, the personality that led Cameroon to independence and the party he founded was the Réunion Camerounais. Then the next question was, you were asked to say the main objective of the Cameroon Youth League. The answer is B, which is to assert the identity of British Cameroonians. The essay type question, we were asked to state the role of political parties towards the indep towards independence in Cameroon, the role that was played by political parties towards independence in Cameroon. The first thing is that it, political parties educated the masses and the electorates. They mobilized people, they brought people together so that they can discuss their ideas. The political parties petitioned the UN through reports to the visiting missions then they equally participated in elections and the parties represented people's opinions. For our next class, before you come to the next class, you should find out the number of regional assemblies that the McPherson Constitution of 1951 
provided to Nigeria. How many regional assemblies did the Macpherson Constitution of 1951 provide in Nigeria? You write them down. To go through the work, of course, we consulted the above sources. Next lesson, we'll look at the Eastern Regional Crisis. Una tege si matege yop, una tege minga matege nyum, una tege majang matege ndom, mane tambia niña ne injubia yen, ngani bana matege mot, ngani la kiri watege ndom, esa kina bia jinkido, mane tambia niña ne injubia yen, tam tama mote tam zabike. Tam tama tonge tam zabike tam tam tama mote tam zabike mane tambia niña ne injubia yen 